Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another interesting session that is on time worked field. So please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's proceed further and talk about time worked field. So the task table provides a time tracking field that is called time worked field. So the time work field which is available under task table. This field measures checks like how long a record has been viewed to track work time on that specific task or ticket. Any table that extends task can use this field. To add the field, we have to configure the form for any table which is extending from task. So time work field looks like this. So time worked and it will continuously running the timer okay so it will not be stopped there is a start and a stop, uh, stop button here we can pause the time and we can resume the time again all right so this is very useful in multiple places like uh, first benefit is like we can check what person has worked how much time for this ticket and as well as we can create a time card for from this or we can generate a time sheet if some person has to submit timesheet based on the task assigned within ServiceNow system, then it will track how much time the candidate or the person has worked on that specific ticket. And they can also submit the timesheet for whole week. Alright, so let's proceed further and see how we can uh, add this field on our task table like incident, problem, change or wherever uh, we can use it uh, like uh, the table which is extending from task. Alright, so let's proceed to our incident table because it is a basic table which is extending from task already. So let's proceed under incident table first. Alright, so this is our incident table and now I will try to open any one record here. And we will see no any a uh, field is displaying right now with related to time worked because it is added under task table and this incident is extending the task table so we can inherit that field under this form all right so let's proceed and see how we can add uh, this time work field so we will just configure our form layout again and now I will find time worked field here. Uh, so you can see this is a time work field and I have added here and now I will try to add in our form. So I have selected one location and I have added time worked field. All right. So now you can see the timer uh, time worked has uh, added this field here. And uh, we can see the timer has already started running because this is the out of the box behavior of time work field. As soon as the form is loaded for any uh, record, the timer starts automatically. We can although pause this timer and the timer is paused and we can again play this timer. So timer will start. All right. So now other way what we can do is like we have to see like a uh, different different person has worked from particular team and we have to find what person has worked how much time in that specific ticket so what we can do is like first of all we need to stop this timer like as soon as the form is loaded it should not start automatically right because unnecessary it will record the time for extra uh, minutes or hours right so by default we will make it paused and the person who will come before starting work on this ticket it will he will click on this time work button and the timer will start its activity so now what we can do so that this time worked uh, timer will stop while load so i will go to system property there is a system property for this so i will go to system property here and then we will try to make changes on system property for this timer field. So this is the system property glide.uitimer.started. So we can see task timer field automatically start when task is displayed. So it is currently set as true. 
so we will make this system property as false so as soon as i will save this system property and now we will see the behavior of time work field so let it complete it okay now i will try to reload this form and i will see the time work will not start automatically it will be paused and now you can see the timer is already paused uh, the person has to come here and start this timer then only this timer will get started all right so this is like how we can see the time work field in our incident table now we have to see like what all person has worked on this specific incident for how much duration all right so what we will do there is a related list time worked so we will add that related list as well here so i will click on configure related list why i am adding it that because we will see what all users has worked for what amount of time all right so we will just go time work time worked yeah so this is the time work field under task and i will click on save and now we will see we will see here the time work related list is already added for this particular incident table and now what i will do is like i will try to record some timings so i will click on start timer so the timer will start here and uh, uh, we will uh, try to see uh, suppose i have worked this incident for 10 second or 15 second so i will save this record and as soon as this record is saved again the timer will start from 13 so till 13 it is recorded under my name so uh, see system administrator because i am the login person and i am recording the time here so time has recorded from system administrator side now what i will do is like i will try to impersonate with other user so suppose i will add adela all right so i have impersonated with adela user and i will try to reload this form okay why this record is not showing here because uh, adela is not having access for this particular table so i will impersonate another user that is itil user and now what i will do is like i will try to reload the form again and now you can see uh, we have this form loaded and 13 second recorded with system administrator let me reload the form again okay now i will start the timer again so we will go back and see on that incident how much time this user has worked now i will save this record okay so let's go back to our and impersonation And you can see we have a recorded time for system administrator as 13 second and itil user has worked around 10 seconds so we can see two different user has worked on some amount of time 13 second 10 second right so this timer is added uh, for both the users similarly the time sheet or time card can also be generated using uh, uh, the configuration for time sheet management all right so this way we can utilize time work field for tracking the time like how much time the person has worked on incident problem or change or the table from which the task table is extended all right so yeah uh, this is all about our time work field all right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information Please visit the description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT.